What's going on, my New Orleans sports family? As always, I'm your boy O, and today the bleeding can finally stop for this NFL season for our New Orleans Saints. Unfortunately, we were in the season six and ten. Yeah, that's like three games different from what we finished last year, but here it is. The end of the season is upon us. So let's go through this 10-7 loss to the Carolina Panthers and see how we got our 10 loss of, loss of the season. All right. We came out swinging in the first quarter. Opening drive, touchdown. Seemed like we was going to be in for one of those days where the Saints just come out and score a lot of points, but then we just slowed down. Uh, we had 16. We should have won this game. 16 first downs. Four for 13 on third down efficiency. 0 for 1 on fourth down efficiency, which was a fourth down that we really and truly didn't need to go for. You know, I mean, that's on Dennis Allen. I would have took the points there. But later in the game, you would see that Will Lutz missed two field goals. So maybe he had the right idea about going for it there. You know what I mean? I don't know. Total 304 yards. Okay, 58 plays. 32 of those plays was rushing, one turnover. Andy Dalton would be sacked one time. Um, only commit two penalties for 15 yards and 29 minutes of time and possession. Let's go through the stats here and talk about what we had on the field today. Andy Dalton would be 15 for 25 for 60% of his passes completed, 171 yards, a 6.8 yard average, one touchdown. Zero interceptions. Yeah, he had like two near interceptions, but they don't count on the stat sheet, ladies and gentlemen. He'll be sacked at once for 10 yards and a 93.9 quarterback rating. Now, Andy Dalton did miss Taysom Hill wide open in the end zone, but right after that, Will Lutz missed a field goal. He missed two field goals, so the same six points that Andy Dalton would have gotten you there, Will Lux could have made them up just by simply hitting the field goals. Alvin Kamara showed up for this game. 107 yards, 4.7 4 yard average. His long was 22, 23 rushes, no fumbles. Taysom Hill, five rushes, 24 yards, 4.8 all yard average. His longest was 10. Rashid Shaheed, one rush, seven yards. Nothing else really there on the stat sheet. Uh, okay, I'm going to fall over. All right. When it comes down to receiving, Chris Olave. Now look. Late in the game, Andy Dalton did have a misread with Chris Olave. He nearly threw an interception to Josh Norman. I think they wasn't on the same page from the start of the snap. But Chris Olave also dropped some crucial passes in this game. That's why he has 12 targets and he only have five receptions. However, the rookie would cross over the 1,000-yard mark this season. Very amazing that Chris Olave can do that in his rookie season. 12-yard average, one touchdown, his longest was 25, and he also had a fumble for loss, which was more points that we left on the field. That was another three points. So right now, the Saints have left a total of 12 points on the field by field goal attempts because that fourth and one should have been a field goal attempt, and also Andy Dalton missing Taysom Hill in the end zone. So there you go, another 13 points that we could have had, you know what I mean? So... Rashid Shaheed, oh, I'm sorry, more than 13 points because if you got four field goals, that's already 12. And then you get the, the touchdown from Andy Dalton, that's 20 points. It's 18 points. So <sighs> Rashid Shaheed, four targets, three receptions, 34 yards. Uh, DeWine Johnson, two targets, two catches, 28 yards. Nothing else much there. Will Lux, 0 for 2, as I told you before. On the defense side of the ball, we will get two interceptions, something that we have been longing for all season. They finally have done it, and we couldn't turn it into a W. Now, where is these sacks? I think we got two sacks. Uh, one, two. Yeah, two sacks. We got two sacks this game. But, but that's the end of the season, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully... The New Orleans Saints could come back next year and do a lot better than what they did this year. I know many people out there want the Saints to move on from Andy Dalton, but Andy Dalton really didn't play all that bad this season. Sure, he has some mishaps. Many quarterbacks in this league does that. Yes, they have some mishaps. Right now, 
Andy Dalton is sitting on this season. Where is he at on the passing? He's sitting on 67% of his passes completed. Something like 2,800 yards, 2,900 yards. Um, 18 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. His QBR might go up to like 96 or something. So he really and truly ain't did too bad this season. You would like to see these New Orleans Saints come out and score more points next season. You would like to see Andy, I'm just say Alvin Kamara come up and show up his, himself next season because he haven't given us a thousand yard season. He did pretty good this this season. He picked up the pace a little bit. He got close to a thousand, I believe. When this game started, he needed another two hundred and twenty yards to cross over a thousand. He got one hundred seven, so he's like a hundred yards short of a thousand yard season. Hopefully, next year things could be a little better. Davenport may have very well played his last game as a New Orleans Saint. I don't think they should bring Davenport back because he doesn't get enough push on the defensive line. However, the secondary, the linebacker core started to step up in the second half of the season. And it's very unfortunate that they waited to the second half of the season to wake up. But there's some glimmer of hope there. Now, I know many people out there want James Winston to come back. I don't think that's going to happen. I think the Saints have pretty much moved on from Jameis Winston. You have a better opportunity, a better shot of Andy Dalton coming back. They pretty much made that clear because they went with Andy Dalton all season. And when it comes down to, let's say, Michael Thomas, he restructured his deal. Many people out there speculate that Saints are going to move on for him. Hopefully that's not true because you kind of wish Michael Thomas was in this lineup all season long. And things could have been a lot differently. You just don't know because we pretty much went with a rookie core wide receivers if you don't count on Twicon, Trequan Smith, and I think Shahid is is the second year, I believe. Jawan Johnson second year, but you know, these guys really don't have much of experience when it comes down to the game of football. But I mean they do, but not in the NFL. Things are a little different from college. So hopefully going forward. We can make some better choices with the offensive coordinator. I don't know if we're going to move on from Pete Carmichael. He may very well stay on board. We don't know. But I do see some glimmer of good with this New Orleans Saints on both sides of the ball. But they got to stop to make stop making mistakes, which are costing them the game. Like missing field goals. This, this Carolina Panthers team really and truly didn't even have a passing game, but they had a solidified run game. And the, the first touchdown that the Panthers was able to get was the result of a, a, a 80 yard drive, right? And, and, and literally, in, in a touchdown just off rushing, Saints could not stop it. Hopefully, they can figure some things out next season. I don't know if Cameron Jordan is going to be on this team. I certainly do hope so because I kind of feel like Cameron Jordan being the Saints all-time sack leader, he should retire in a Saints uniform. But I do understand the guy wants a Super Bowl. I don't know if we're ever going to get a quarterback on the level of Lamar Jackson or, 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 or goddamn Patrick Mahomes. But at the same time, you have to go for what you have right now. Now, I don't know exactly if the Saints are going to draft that quarterback, but if they do, you're probably still going to get someone like Andy Dalton back, or you probably have a shot of giving Jameis Winston another year if you go with a rookie quarterback, because drafting a rookie quarterback is just going to reset everything, right? You're on rebuild mode now. If you're on rebuild mode, then you extend Dennis Allen for multiple seasons. So you don't want that. You want them to take this window of opportunity with the talent that they have on this team. Hopefully next year we can go back to the drawing board and actually get back to our winning ways. And Dennis Allen's three-game win streak came to an end. It's very unfortunate because last night the Pelicans lost as well. I didn't get to cover that L, but as you know, two back-to-back -back losses. It's not that I'm not happy, but it really and truly wasn't worth covering because we didn't have the starters in that game to actually be able to pull it off. But the New Orleans Saints season is finally over. They'll be watching the playoffs from the couch, and hopefully that's a lesson learned to them going forward. You know, maybe next year our defense will play a little better and begin to get turnovers in the beginning of the season, not so much the second half of the season, and we probably can win some games. So I'm your boy O. Hopefully you watched this video all the way to the end and help your boy out with that algorithm. And if you're not subscribed, 
please be sure to do so. I also have a main channel called The 4KO where I review movies, I do trailer reactions, I talk about toys and geek cultures in general. I'm going to leave the link in the description below if you want to support me over there as well. Well, in the comments below, tell me what do you think the New Orleans Saints have to do to get better on both sides of the ball? And also, which New Orleans Saints do you think are not going to return next year in a New Orleans Saints uniform? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah. <laughs>